Hey, what's up, GOAT fans? Welcome back to BGTV. We got another campaign, The Jewel from Magic the Gathering 2013. Here we are, revenge campaign. Let's do it. Garrick uses a green deck. We fought him before. As I was saying, we fought him before, but that was in the normal campaign, revenge campaign. They use a lot uh, more tricky strategies than in the normal campaign. So let's check that out. We have two land cards and a whole bunch of other cards. Let's draw another hand. We have two land cards again, but we have some other better cards. So let's keep this hand because I don't want to lose a card. He does epic first move. Let's play out Garrick's companion. It's a 3 2 creature with trample, which means even if he blocks, if he has, say, a 1 1 creature, it'll still do deal 2 damage to his life. He summons his Garrick's companion. There we go. Just what I wanted. It's still cool, mate. This will give us a good amount of uh, mana. One gets summoned into play, and one gets summoned to your hand. Let's skip attack for now. He's going to attack. Let's uh, skip blocking. Ooh, three damage. Let's play our land card here, and we shall also play uh, Indrix Nontala. Let's attack. Now that he's uh, actually tapped. way we keep with the same amount of damage as him but neither of us loses a card and he won't attack this time because I have a 4-4 creature out see Fangren Firstborn whenever Fangren Firstborn attacks put a 1-1 counter on each attacking creature let's hope we get a land card yes we did let's play our cultivate just to get extra land to guarantee that we have one for next turn as well and we shall attack let's do this all in boys all in does he block no he doesn't because he's just using the same technique I just did which means we don't lose any cards but we still do just as much damage Seven damage as well. Ooh. No, he does nine damage. That hurt. And he plays Prey Upon to Prey Upon my Indrix Stomp Howler. And my Indrix Stomp Howler is going to take out his Garrick's Companion. Let's summon our Primal Crux. shall attack with this one hopefully he'll block yes he does very cool mutually assured destruction there both of us lose and the card hmm Let's kill it off. Let's block him. I'd rather lose a Primal Crux than that thing get any strong. There we go. Let's 
vigilance and reach. And we can't attack this turn because he just got summoned. Let's see what he does. He plays Vorpeed, which has vigilance, trample, and dying. Look, it's all shiny. So shiny. But yep, uh, undying means you have to kill it twice. Which is kind of a pain. Not a huge problem. Let's actually, we have 10 land cards. And Howl of the Night Pack will actually summon a 2-2 green wolf for each of those land cards. So let's play that, because that will actually give us a lot more monsters than Indrix Stomp Howler can provide. And we shall skip attack. So he blocks. Actually, I could have attacked to finish him off. But it doesn't matter. Either way, he's dead. Let's use one of these to block. Actually use two. When more than one creature blocks an attack, blocks an attacking creature, the attacking player chooses how the attacking creature's damage is assigned. Let's block with three. Just to make sure we get all three of that. I mean, six versus five, we kill it, it kills all of us. There we go. So good. He plays Garrick's Pack Leader. And we play Nature's Law. And we summon a land card, and then summon our Indrix Stomp. Now this combat phase, we attack with the full force of my wolf army. So, and our spider. So we have enough damage to finish him off. Pretty sure it should be. Let's do this. Boom. 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 And boom goes the dynamite. Good game. Good game, Garrick. See you on the flip side. For watching peace. Make sure to like, fave, and subscribe. Uh, share this around with all your mates if you enjoyed it. If not, share it anyway. <laughs> See ya.